let me also show you how the software does the foundation design you know when you are done with your modeling just navigate down to the the ground floor and then go back to modeling just click on create foundation change the view to foundation map because once you do that automatically it gets the 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 size of the foundation in all the bases okay and then you'll be able to um just go back to design click design foundation and then you can now take a look at the generated foundation you can see my foundation type one and then uh foundation serial number one and four are basically the same of course they have the same loading it depends on the designer i can look again at the of course the soil bearing pressure all these ones we have already determined at the beginning before we created the foundation at the default you can actually change all this at the default then you can look at the the depth of the footing i might decide to use 250 as you change any of the parameter the software will always revalidate the checks for point change share okay then i can um, of course change the height of the foundation to 1000 to 1000 depending on the designer these are all individual preferences okay or i can use the 750 that i have originally then if i'm okay with that and of course y12 at 200 i can match properties of course and as you can see, my foundation two, three, four, they're basically all the same. I will just match their properties. I just go back to modify and I'll say match foundation property. Just click on the first. You can see they're all one meter by one meter, one thousand by one thousand millimeter. You can see that is quite that simple. And if you notice again, the software renames them BT1, BT1 is base type 1, base type 1, base type 1. So at the time the foundation layout comes out, automatically everything is in order and OK. Again, I can also create, verify like my foundation base 6. I can design it. This is um, 12200 by 12200 which I can take to be 2F300 and of course these are all individual preferences that's one beauty of the software is open you can always configure things as you deem them necessary then this is BT2 you can see uh, it has changed to Y2F at 250 and of course my punching shares are okay so I can leave the depth of 300 as it is on the geometry. So that's it. I can just match properties, just match foundation property with this. So that is BT2. So that's it. My foundation design is done. To detail the foundation is also very simple. Just click on detailing and then you click on part foundation details. Just basically select the one you want, this um, base type 1 and base type 2, and click OK. That's it. You can see my base is detailed just like that without any trouble. Simple and direct. I can call this. foundation details then I can also choose to show my foundation layout basically at the ground floor I simply created the beam which is not actually used the beam I create here is actually basically used to generate my foundation layout it's kind of um, um, I'm creating the, the wall track 
at the software we just used to generate my foundation layout. Okay, then just go back to detailing and then click on foundation layout. You can see my foundation layout is created and it's quite good. And you can see my BT2, BT2, BT1, BT1, of course, with their column type, everything in order. Okay, I can still personalize it. I can call this my foundation layout. Now, of course, you can navigate through the drawings that we have done so far. Just take a look at them. You can also remove any page. Okay, this our the sketch part stuff. Then this is my slab details. I call this my first floor. Slab details. We call it slab details one because we have basically two of them. So this is my first floor slab detail two. This is my beam, G, uh, beam details. Okay, that's it. Now, basically, any of this page can be exported to AutoCAD just in a click. All you need to do is go to Tools and you click Export to AutoCAD, Export Current Drawing Page to AutoCAD. And then you put in the name you want to use. Let me call this. In fact, I can actually copy this direct. And then export to AutoCAD. Let me call it first floor beam details. That's it. It creates a DSF and goes into AutoCAD. You can open it up in AutoCAD. The same thing with the slab. Just I can pick this up. Okay, let me let me show this. And say our beam is a DSF. That's it. It takes it to AutoCAD. That's as good as it can. This is my column. You can say export to AutoCAD. This is as good as it can get. This is my first floor beam GA. You can see say export to AutoCAD. For the D, I have to remove the dots. So I don't confuse the DSF file. So that's it. And then this is my roof GA. You can just to say the same thing as port to AutoCAD. AutoCAD DSF. It's done. It's my foundation details. As in such a simple manner, we have virtually exported almost all the drawing to AutoCAD DSF. So that's it. And of course, you can open up this in AutoCAD DSF. It has a DSF file which can open any AutoCAD application or any application that understands AutoCAD.